Hello, my name is David Finlayson with Chesapeake Technology. And did you know that SonarWiz has a nice grid editing capability built into its bathymetric editor? And today I'd like to show you how it works. So here we have a digital elevation model. It has a data holiday in it, and it's also got this stripe of bad data that's on the edge of the swath where uh, some beam editing should be done. So to edit this grid, we right click the grid in the Project Explorer and select Grid Editor which opens the bathymetric editing tool in the grid editing mode. So here's the DEM in three dimensions. So we can zoom in and you can see the data holiday here and here's the stripe of bad data. So to edit this grid we select the edit grid icon and that switches the editor uh, toolbar up at the top to give us tools for editing the grid surface directly. For example we can select um, a selection tool and we can find a spike on this grid and select it like this and reject it and that drops it from the grid but we didn't get it all so let's get the rest of it here reject there we go so we got the whole thing now you could go through the whole data set like this and manually edit all the spikes out uh, that you want to but an easier way is to use our spike detection algorithm which passes a kernel over the data set and then locates all of the spikes for you and either replaces them, like here we'll replace it with a median value of the kernel, or you can just select them all. And you can see how it, it does a pretty good job of uh, cleaning them all up in one swoop. But we still have to fill these holes. So we also have a interpolate function, which we can click over here, click interpolate. And similar to the other uh, tool, we set a radius that we want uh, to allow the interpolation to occur and whether or not there has to be uh, values on either side of the interpolation zone. So once that's set up, you click OK and it will run the interpolation. So let's click that, click OK. And it looks like it filled one side but not all of it. So let's do it one more time. Almost should have uh, set this to a higher uh, interpolation area. There it is. So now our DEM looks pretty nice. So we'll click here to accept it. Now we can update the grid in the main SonarWiz program by clicking here, or you can save it out as a separate grid altogether. And now uh, let's take a look at what we did. So we'll switch back to the main SonarWiz program and look at the grid. Okay, so here we're back in SonarWiz again, and there's our grid. We'll hit refresh and it redraws with most of our repairs made. So now you know how to use uh, the grid editor in SonarWiz. If you'd like to learn more about SonarWiz and our bathymetric editing capabilities, please visit us at www.chesapeaketech.com. Thank you very much for watching.